After our last game against DeMatha, our coach finally told us that our game, our season was getting postponed, which obviously was hard to hear. So I tried to focus myself and put my mind onto something else, which ended up being these N95 masks. Uh, we read an article about a shortage in masks and supplies that hospitals needed. So I think a lot of people should be doing this because it's not that hard to, and as long as you have a 3D printer, you can do it. Uh, the boys are d developing masks and using our 3D printers. Uh, they contacted me and asked if they could float this idea by me, and it was going to be something that would be very beneficial, we understood, when masks run out or some of the supplies are low. I am working on uh, a, an additional project to the, the face mask project that the, the guys are working on. Um, this is for making face shields uh, that will be donated uh, through a makerspace in Baltimore called OpenWorks. And they're sanitizing them and distributing them with another organization called Innovation Works to uh, hospitals in the Baltimore area. So the face mask provides full coverage. Uh, basically, we're 3D printing uh, sort of a headband, which then a plastic, clear plastic shield covers the entire face. Um, so obviously, in certain situations where people are coughing um, and you need to get close, that will provide provide a barrier to any uh, airborne, um, you know, coronavirus or any other contaminants. All three of these uh, individuals are really dedicated to helping others. Uh, the Part of the motto of Bullis is a caring community. They've been here every day working in the lab, printing these out with a 3D printer. It takes time. It takes effort. Uh, it's kind of like watching grass grow. It's slow. But most importantly, what takes place is the outcome that they're going to have for others.